I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find slope of tangent line. This will form base for our calculus course. The question here is to understand how to find slope at a point on a parabola. To keep it simple we have taken up y equals to x square as a parabola as shown here and uh, we've shown a tangent line let me call this as line L1 which is tangent to the curve y equals to x square at a point P which is 1 1. You need to find slope of this tangent line so that is the question. It is very difficult to find slope of a tangent line with just one point right. If we have two points then then we can use difference of quotient and find it. Now here the strategy is to understand that we are given a function we could write this as f of x equals to x square. So any point we can consider any point q on the graph of this function. So a point q on the graph of the function will have x value of x and y value of x squared. Do you understand? So any point, any general point on this graph will be x comma x squared. Right? So value of the function is x squared. Now we need to find slope of tangent. Right? We need to find slope of tangent. Now if the point Q is kind of like this then joining these two points, what do we get? Joining these two points, we get a secant. Do you see that? This is what we call as a secant. Right? Bringing the point Q closer and closer, closer and closer to P, let us say very, very close, and then joining this point, we'll get a line which is very close to our tangent. You see that? So bringing this point Q very close to P makes the secant closer and closer to the tangent. Right? So what we observe here is that as Q approaches P secant approaches tangent. Do you see that? So that is what we observe and this is the concept which is going to be applied to find the slope of the tangent line. Right? Now, let us consider that these two points, we know this is P and this is let's say Q dash. Now coordinates of Q dash are very close to, to 1. So that means the, the x value is only a small distance away from 1. So let us say that the coordinates of q are 1 plus h. Right? So the x value here is slightly more than 1. Right? So it could be 1.01, 1 1.001. 1 very close. So we are saying let the coordinates of point Q dash be 1 plus H where H is very close to 0. If X value is 1 plus H, then the Y value will be F of X that is F of 1 plus H. Okay? So that becomes in general coordinates of any point Q which is close to P. And now we can use these coordinates to find the value of the function. Okay, so let's find what is f of 1 plus h, 1 plus h. So I'll substitute in place of x square 1 plus h. So I get 1 plus h whole square, which is 1, 1 square plus 2 times h plus h square. So this is what we get as the y coordinates of this point q dash. So we know x and y coordinates. Now we can find the slope. So we can say slope p q dash will be y2 minus y1 or f of 1 plus h 
minus f of 1, right, the value at 1, divided by 1 plus h minus 1, correct? Now, f of 1 plus h is 1 plus 2h plus h square, and f of 1, if I substitute, I get 1, which is given to us, minus 1, divided by 1 plus h minus 1 is h. So that gives us 1 minus 1 is 0. You are left with 2h plus h square, right? So we have 2h plus h square divided by h. You can take h common, so we get h common 2 plus h over h. Now cancelling it, we are left with 2 plus h. Now since h is very small, we can say that this slope approaches the value 2. Do you see that? Since h is very small, h approaches 0, right? the slope approaches to and therefore we have our answer that is the slope of this tangent is m p q dash is equals to 2. So that is how you can find slope at any point on the curve. Correct? So what we have done here is we have taken another point very very close to p that means the x value is slightly more than one. You could take even less than, okay? You could approach from the left side also. So h is very small as compared to 1. So x value is 1 plus h, y value will be f of 1 plus h. Now since we know kind of two points, right, very close to one another, we can use difference quotient method to find the slope, right? So that is how we can find the slope. So you can practice with such examples and understand this method of finding slope given a point on the curve. So that will form the base for our understanding of finding slope of a tangent line at a point on the given curve. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.